Howdy folks, welcome back. Let's set up hot bars. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my player blueprint and we need to add two variables over here on the side. This will be hot bar or hot bar icon one, hot bar icon two, whatever you want to call it. It'll be an item info struct variable. And then I'm just going to duplicate that one. Hot bar two. Now we've got two of them. So I'm going to add some events for when keyboard 1 is pressed or keyboard 2 is pressed. You can set these to whatever you like. I'm going to drag out hotbar 1 for keyboard 1 and break it open. Because we want to see if it is a valid class. Then we'll branch. I'm going to get rid of the 2 for now just so we got more room. And if it is, then we want to go ahead and use the item right here. And after we do that, we want to see how many of these will be left. So from this current stack, we will see if it is less than or equal to 1 at the time of use. We'll add a branch towards the end. And if true, then if it's less than or equal to 1, then we want to set the item hotbar key back to empty. I'm going to hide that real quick. I'm trying to do this one quick because I can't usually record during the day. You'll probably see why. But I wanted to get another video out to y'all. <sighs> okay. Okay, so if it is less than or equal to 1, we want to just remove it completely from our hotbar slot. But if it's not, then we just want to affect the actual number so we're going to copy this and paste it but instead of leaving it empty we're going to make our item info and we're gonna break this open one more time and we'll just hook everything up except for the current stack we will reduce that by one My mouse is not very, oh, pff, not very, not functioning very well right now. So I'll subtract one from the current stack. Hook that just like that. The max stack, item index, and then everything else just gets hooked directly up. This thing's gotten long. Okay, just like that. So once we are able to equip a hotbar item, we'll check to see if our class is valid when we press our hotbar key. Then if it is, we use the item in question. And then we affect the parameters over here. We'll compile that real quick. So, just to show you, this will basically be repeated on the second one, but let's go into our menu widget real quick, because we need to add a couple buttons. So I'm going to duplicate this drop button, and let's see, it goes from 140, 48, and just about 50. And this will be slot one and let's see back to there maybe a hundred oh, 150 close enough and this will be slot two so now let's go to slot one call it slot one make sure it is a variable we'll scroll all the way down and we want to do an on clicked event so on clicked we want to see if our selected item is valid so we'll get our player reference and we want to get that selected item selected because this will mean you've clicked one in your inventory and now it's there so we'll break that open if it is valid 
is valid class. Then we will set oops set hot bar one to oh my god. We will set hotbar1 to our item selected. Then we can remove item from our player. Since we have it equipped, we don't need it in the inventory, so we will take this over here. We'll hook the item selected info directly up. Then we can take this current stack for the amount removed. And for now, that's going to be good. We'll affect, We'll fix this in just one second. I want to check one thing just to make sure it is working. So if I pick up these potions and I equip them, then they're not in there. But if I press 1 on the keyboard, her health should improve. Yes. All right. So it is working. So now we need a way to actually register that it is on screen. So let's go into our HUD elements, find our player HUD widget, and what is this? Oh, that's the gold. Okay. Well, I am going to move that um, up here for now because I want to set two images over here. Well, for now, I'm just going to set one. So this is going to be 75 by 75. And then underneath it is going to be a text block. I need to get a new mouse. This is ridiculous. All right, and so what this is going to be is it's going to have its image bound to the item info in that slot. So we can get our player reference, player reference, hotbar1, and then just set that item image right there. If that doesn't work for some reason, like let's say it doesn't pop up with those particular, you can create the binding. Uh, we can, I'm being stalked by a cat. Yes, I love you too. I'm sorry, go. I'll try to record. Alright, we can get hot bar one. And then we'll break it open. We'll drag this over and we'll make slate brush. And we'll just plug the item image directly in like that. So this was in the player hood. Alright, so now out here, what we want right here is we're gonna bind this to the item where is it hot bar one and it's going to be the current stack so that we can see so that's fine right now so now let's see so now we've got three in my hot bar one Two, one, and now it's empty, so it's gone back to nothing. Good deal. Now we need access none, trying to read property player, ref, player hood. Oh, it's because I tried to push the button. Well, there was nothing there. Okay, so what we actually need to do is, uh, is valid. Oh. We'll do an is valid check here. If true, then we do that. If false, then we return nothing. And that should fix that. So let's... So yeah, now it's blank white. We'll equip that. It's all good. Yeah, and now it's gone back to nothing. Probably gonna have the same error on the the text item class. Yeah. 
So I will fix that side real quick too. So probably a better idea just to go ahead and create the binding every time instead of doing the quick way. Hot bar one, break, valid, branch, narrate, true, boom. Let's see what happens if I don't hook up the other side at all. Oh, it's just blink. Now I got four, slot bar one, four of them equipped. Good deal. Access none trying to read. Why does it keep saying this? How are you accessing none in the player HUD? That is established right from jump. can't use the reference and I'll just hardwire it just like that so anytime it starts saying access none for some reason it's not establishing the variable before it's pulling all this it should be but if it's not what we can do is we can just go ahead and say cast to player directly in here and that should Let's fix it. Okay, cool. Good deal. Alright, now one more thing that we need to do inside our player hut, no, in our menu widget, is if there's already something equipped in our hotbar, then we want to pick that item back up and then set it to the new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hotbar one, break that open, and see if it is valid. I'm going to add a branch. If it's not valid, then we just want to go through all this. But if it is, then we want to pick up that item info. So from our hotbar one, I'll just drag over, pick up item, feed that right there. Make sure your player reference is plugged into that target. And that should be all well and good. So let's take a look. So if I pick up three health potions and one mana potion, then if I slot that, it's gone, but it's here. Now if I highlight that and I equip that, yeah, we picked up our health potions and now the mana potion is there. So let me re-slot this real quick and then use that. And now when I equip this, we should pick up just one health potion. Yeah, so it's working all well and good. So it's just like that, just that quick. You can have hotbar icons. So you just do the same process on number two. I'm sorry that I can't go through the full process on that one right now. My next video will be, but uh, I I'm kind of limited on time. That's why this one's kind of a rush job. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, now you can have some hot bar icons. There's something else. Let's see. Oh, let's say uh, one more thing we will go over is um, let's say you want to restrict it to where it's like you don't want to be able to, to hot bar weapons or uh, crafting materials. You just want to be able to hot bar consumable items. So what you do is in your menu on the clicked slot one after you see that 
the item class for the item selected is valid, we'll get the item type and we'll do a switch. So switch on item type. So we'll plug the true into here and then every item type that you want to be able to be equipable or hot barable, whatever you would call that. So for instance, health and mana items. Um, and for mine, that's probably all I'm going to do. But any item that you want to be able to hot bar, you would just plug in just like that. So now when I come out here, let me pick up a bunch of these shrubs. Some of these, some of that. Give me that. So now I can hot bar that, but I can't hot bar that, but I did pick up my item. That's, <laughs> hey, item duplication. All right, let's see. It's in the menu. So what we would probably do is actually reverse this. So let's um, put this... put this branch where we're checking to see if the item selected is valid first we'll do is true so we'll check here and then right here at the end when we're about to equip the item then we'll see if it's got one already if not plug directly in if true then we do that so just a little bit of a rearrangement to check. We're checking the item class of the item selected to see if it's valid. We're doing that branch, then we're setting the switch up. And then we are plugging in our switches to our branch to see if our item picked up, or if our hotbar is already a valid class. If it is, then we want to pick it up. If not, we just want to equip it. So now let's jump in. Let's dive on in. Alright, so now I can hotbar that. If I try to hotbar you, it does nothing. If I try to hotbar you, it does nothing. Yeah, now it's picking up appropriately. Alright, so there's a little bit of a workaround, but it's all working. So yeah, you would just do the same thing for slot number two, and when we return, I'll I'll go ahead and do a video on that one, um, and then we will do the same thing for magical spells. So yeah, I will see y'all soon. Bye bye.